Hello everyone, welcome back to Hot Light Topics. In the early hours of today, TAMP and the Association Body of Yoruba Movie Practitioners suspended the Yoruba actor Yunifabi indefinitely over his new movie, Okoyabo. The movie Okoyabo portrays the Baba Jesha Rip saga. The movie aired on YouTube on July 4th and featured characters with names of the persons involved in this rape case, including the Yoruba actress Yabo Ujo, the actor Olariwaju James Omiyinka, also known as Baba Ajesha. This movie sparked massive outrage on social media as many Nigerians called Tampan Association to discipline Yonifabi over this movie production. In a new development, the association in the statement said Yonifabi had been suspended indefinitely for gross professional misconduct and unethical practices. Part of the letter read, having listened to the detailed defense of Mr. Yonifabi who is the producer slash director of the controversial film Okoyabo and his co-director Mr. Dilimati, the Ethic Conflict and Resolution Committee hereby found them guilty of professional misconduct and unethical practices. Although Mr. Yomifabi insisted that it is his fundamental human right to use his creative talents to produce films and to tell his own account of the trendy issue, but his co-director admitted his fault and regretted his involvement in the film. The committee further establishes that number one, Mr. Yomifabi deliberately produced slash directed a film without a recourse to the ethical of filmmaking, thereby engaging in a work of art that is wittingly done to cause social crisis. Number two, except the work of art is a cinema verity, no one is allowed to use real names of other persons in a future film. Therefore, it is professional misconduct to use real names stories and factual events of person or persons without their consent not to talk of plot that is denigrating to that person number three that the story plot theme title dialogue names and general content of the film Okoyabo is a factual presentation that may give rise to prejudice since the matter is already in court number four is misconduct and unethical practices have impaired negatively on the image or reputation of our association number five his co-director, Mr. Adelimati, having shown remorse and admitted his guilt, is hereby suspended for three months. Number six, that all our members who acted in the film have been summoned to appear before the Ethic Conflict and Resolution Committee on the 24th of July 2021. We wish to reiterate that Tampan is an association of noble artists. I will never encourage or do anything that will cause a social crisis to our society. Signed, Yemi Amodu, Director of Research and Documentation. In reaction to this indefinite suspension, Yomi Fabi indirectly refuted claims of being a member of the Theatre Arts and Motion Picture Practitioner Association of Nigeria. In a post he shared on his official social media platform, he said that he is originally a member of ANTP and will renew his membership there. According to this popular Yoruba actor, he never obtained or signed any form with Tampan or joined any guild, adding that he was made to pay a registration fee and there was no formal procedure. Yomi Fabi said that the letter from Tampan is not valid to him as a filmmaker and any necessary reaction will be based on human rights violation. This was what he shared. I'm originally a NTP member. Worst case, I'll renew my membership there. I have never obtained or signed any form with Tampan or joined any guild. I was made to pay for registration, which I did, but no form collected or formal procedure. The letter is inappropriate. Not valid for me as a filmmaker. Any reaction, if necessary, will be on the basis of human rights violation. If I so wish to seek judicial redress, you don't lose what you never had. Signed, Yomi Fabi. Earlier on, Tampan had suspended the popular Yuba actress Yabo Ujo, who has been very vocal about this case. And she herself and Yomi Fabi had been the most vocal on this case. Tampan had a conference to say that they had suspended Yabo Ujo and Ikechi's blessing for their misconduct. On social media platforms and they also sanctioned all their members all you by actors and actresses to desist from talking about this case on social media platforms and let the courts do justice to this case not make it a social media case Tampa also noted that Yabojo made their racial statements against the association and the industry as a whole ultimately Tampa accused the actors of conducting herself in a non-professional manner however Yabo Ujo took to her social media platform to apologize to the others for upsetting them and this was what she said first and foremost I want to appreciate God Almighty all merciful I love you Lord and I thank you for your constant protection provision and guidance over me and my family I'm forever grateful I will also want to use this opportunity 
opportunity to say a very big thank you to all my darling fans and loved ones for your constant love and support. Honestly, I'm so overwhelmed and humbled. I will never take it for granted. To an able and ever humble president of Tampa, thank you very much, sir. Our big daddies, Adibio Salami, Prince Kosoko, Yinka Kojo, on behalf of Inkechi Blessing Sunday, my darling Abu and my humble self, we apologize to you all. We are sorry for getting you upset. There were elders and leaders who respect you. We are humbled before you. We we'll forever appreciate you and honor you. It's all peace and love. However, now that Yomi Fabi has been suspended, he has come for Tampan that he was never a member of Tampan. He's rather a member of ANTP. So this suspension does not apply to him. Since the beginning of Baba Jesus' case, Yomi Fabi and Iyabo Ujo have been at loggerheads. And these two even had protest. Yabo Ojo protested that Baba Jesha should not be released on bill. Whilst Yomi Fabi went to protest that Baba Jesha has his own fundamental human rights. Even though you're accused or a victim, everyone should enjoy their legal rights. In a letter written by Yabo Ojo's lawyers, the Mavi for Taylor Girl, it was said that during Yomi Fabi's protest, defamatory statements were inscribed on black cards. Some of which read, Nigeria police, please allow the law to dictate to you not see Yabo Ujo, Princess and Co. Please release Baba Jesha. Another one read, Yabo Ujo and Princess promised to kill Baba Jesha if released on bill. In this era, Yabo Ujo through our lawyers denied making any statements to kill Baba Jesha, unlawfully interfering with the statutory responsibilities of the Nigerian police force. And the letter partly read, We are the retained solicitors to Miss Alice Yabo Ujo, and after referred to as our client, on whose instructions and behalf. The instant correspondence is undertaken. We write in respect to your defamation publications with particular reference to a series of unwarranted, unprovoked, unjustifiable vituperations and unfounded allegations by you, as contained in the placard bearing the name of our clients. The mind blogging allegations are not only imaginary, false, and fallacious, but mischievous and deliberately calculated to ridicule our clients. Our clients reliably inform us that. You spearheaded a protest on 12th day of May 2021 where you made several accusations, amongst which were defamatory publications on placards with the following inscriptions to it. Nigeria police, please allow the law to dictate to you not to Yabo Ujo Princess and Co. Please release Baba Jisha. Yabo Ujo and Princess promise to kill Baba Jisha if released on bill in this era. Be aware that these defamatory publications are viewed by a large number of people through your live broadcast on your Instagram handle at Real Yomifabi, where unfounded allegations disparaging comments and life-threatening remarks were made as our client. Take notice that our client is a reputable professional in the entertainment industry and also the executive director of Pinky's Foundation, a registered non-governmental organization saddled with the responsibility to empower ladies and children and promote social values among the youth and emerging generations. They also went ahead to state the implication of the defamatory publications and demanded 100 million euro as payment for damages. And today, Tamban has suspended Yomi Fabi indefinitely. We will bring you updates on Abajish's case. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.